Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Lifeway or also known as Holman, we have the Lifeway Women's Bible. Now this is a single column wide margin, it's got a ton of features, it has Bible study material, devotional content from Lauren Chandler, Gloria Furman, Lisa Harper, the list goes on, there's over a hundred articles placed alongside to kind of help you get a little more deep and reflect on God's Word. It has almost a hundred devotional thoughts placed throughout the Bible, it also has Bible genre introductions like law, prophets, different things, it has 66 introductions, 40 character profiles of key women in the Bible, 35 reflection questions. It just goes on and on. I could read this. But anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at this Bible because I want to show you the cover. First of all, the box is really nice. Check out this butterscotch leather. That is absolutely beautiful. And I love that it shows like some scuffing and wear. So this is kind of designed to be rugged and really just kind of take that beating and look good and age over time. I don't think this is going to patina, but this is a nice genuine leather. Check out that spine. It has the blind stamping, and it looks like they kind of held the iron in there a little bit and let it burn in, which really gives it a really sharp look. It also has two 1 8 inch, I believe these are double-sided satin ribbons. Sometimes it's really difficult to tell, but these definitely look to be double-sided. Perimeter stitching, really sharp. Check this out. Has a really nice synthetic liner. It does seem to have some reinforcement tape there, so with a big bulky Bible like that, this is important. This synthetic liner is not going to rip like paper. So once you get into some of the features of the Bible, of course it has a presentation page and all the things that you would expect. Table of contents, books of the Bible in alphabetical and uh, canonical order. Now I thought this was interesting. I think this is a mistake. But that says Lifeway Women's Study Bible there but everywhere else it only says Lifeway Women's Bible. This is not a study Bible, so I'm pretty sure that is an error. But anyhow, this kind of shows you how to use it. It shows you the articles and what they look like, the book introductions, what they look like, the character profiles and what they look like. It also gives you the reflections and the reflective questions, and then it gives you this closer look, which is kind of like some short devotional thoughts from different women. Now this is really, really nice in this Bible. The features, it gives you another kind of a table of contents, but it breaks it down. Here's your genre introductions, all your articles with their topics, and then it moves on into the character profile. So if you wanna look at a certain character, for example, Eve, you can look that up. It also has your all your closer looks, which is kind of like your little short devotional thoughts. And finally, after all that, it has your for further reflection questions. Then it has all your inspirational quotes, who quoted them, the page that they're on, your charts, your maps, and your tables all throughout the Bible. Of course, you have your introduction to the Christian Standard Bible, and then you have one of your section overviews. These are not very lengthy, which is kind of nice. And what they do is they just give you an overview of the section of the Bible. This happens to be the books of the law. And then it gives you your book introduction, which is also brief, shows you some key verses, and then gives you a nice little timeline right here. I like that. So once you get into the layout, it is a single column, 9.5 font with good margin space whenever you don't have these little extras here. You have your inspirational quotes, you have your closer look, and then you have your character profile. And this one starts off with Eve, and this is with Susan Hill. This one is Mary Jo Sharp, and this one is Priscilla Shirer. So sometimes your margin space is gonna get eaten up a little bit with some of these extras. It's interesting, they use purple accents and then they put the verses on the side like this instead of at the top, like most of them when you see them laid out. Now let's just kind of look through it really quickly because I want to show you just some of the features. Here is Priscilla Shire, Set Free from Sin, a little article. Now some of these can take up to two pages, but that one happens to be a little more brief. And you can see there's several articles, several inspirationals, and they also have word studies to where they'll take a particular word and kind of break it down and study it out. It does have limited notes. I don't see any cross-references really to speak of. In the New Testament, you generally see some you know, minimal cross-references just to let you know kind of where this appears in the Old Testament. And the Old Testament quotes in the New Testament are always bolded out. So, for example, just like that. So the reason I have this one out here is because I kind of want to show you the comparison a little bit just so you can see the difference. This is the premium CSB single column wide margin and you can tell the margins are not as wide but the text is a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and get into Matthew here so we can kind of compare how they look in a similar spot in the Bible. So here we are kind of 
ish in the same spot. You can see this is a typeset by 2K Denmark. So this is a bold font, red accents, and the font is one point bigger. So if you're thinking that this layout and this layout are the same, they're actually not the same. They are a bit different, but this is a beautifully laid out Bible. Another thing you will see is check it out. This paper is a bit more creamy, and then this paper is the bright white. I really like this. I think this is well done. It's really sharp. I think for any lady that really wants to take a deep dive into the Word of God, this will be extremely helpful. It prompts you to ask questions. It has maps all throughout. So it functions somewhat like a study Bible, but it is not a study Bible. It is more of like a devotional type Bible that you can use every day in order to kind of help you, kind of guide you through maybe your daily reading plan. It does have a nice readable 9.5 font, but it's definitely not as large as the 10. There is a significant difference. I think the paper in this is excellent. It's line matched. Check it out, the ghosting. The ghosting is super minimal in that. I'm really impressed with that. I don't know what the GSM of, of this paper is, but if you go to a poetic setting here, I, I actually think that ghosting is worse. And this is a 36 GSM premium Bible paper. Check this out, look at the comparison. I mean, I think that ghosting is a little bit worse. So this paper is actually quite impressive. So ladies, check it out, this is sharp. It has your concordance in the back, it has your, your daily bread reading plan, everything you could need in your Bible. And in the end, as Holman always does, they absolutely kill it in the map game by putting it on Bible paper. Check that out. I love it. So you don't have that bulky, thick paper at the end making your Bible lay funny. Pretty outstanding. I love this Bible. I'd like to see them make one for the men. There you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on this unit was worth.